<laughs> All right, so I'm joined by Charlie Guilford, who's going to show us what's in his riding pack. This is for the experienced rider, the prepared rider. Who's seen everything break. So, uh, yeah, back in the days of yore, we rode Yamahas, and they break. So, uh, yeah, what I try to do is uh, keep things in little packs, so if you know That's which is in what pack, you can just pull out a pack. But this is all the stuff for uh, plugging a tire. I can't believe I can't get this thing open. This is a little... It's a, uh, I think this is a small knife and a valve stem remover. This is a CO2 cartridge, a couple of tire plugs, tire tools, a couple spare cartridges, more plugs, a little thing of cement. So when you put the plug on the tool, open this guy up, and then dip that thing in there, and then your, your plug is uh, covered with cement, and then you can stick it in your tire. So there's all that. Where'd you get these? These are cute little organizers. Uh, they're pencil cases. I think you can oh, get them yeah. at either uh, Office Depot or Amazon or something. These are the mechanical tools, the small ones anyway. So this is a, pretty much the the range of Allens you're likely to see. And a lot of people use those fold-out, those pocket knife sort of things. I, you, you can do that, but I find uh, soon, you know, often enough that there, it's a lot harder to get it uh, screws with those than with a real Allen. I like somehow you got to put it. Sometimes you got to put these on an angle. Ball nose, yeah, ball mm -hmm. nose are good Allens to have. They're real small and are less critical. But uh... and then yeah, a little pair of vice grips, reversible screwdriver. Actually, I have two of them. Um, then a set of you know wrenches, 17, 14, 8, 10, 12, and 13. I think this is. Uh, and then uh, not that I use these for competition, but like when you're out practicing. Um, Saw and nippers. Uh, tire pump goes with the tire stuff. This is a tool I made for um, the TRS has a uh, different kind of a plug, so uh, I took a three-quarter inch socket and made this up. But this is also an Allen key. This will uh, remove your axle if you need it. Um, and then the uh, channel locks, as we've mentioned before, when you sprocket, when you lose your chain, your uh, chain wraps around your front sprocket you uh use the channel locks to get it free and i, I don't know how many times I've, I've been that guy for uh people that get you know derail their chain and get yeah. it all wrapped around their front sprocket they're really glad to see me come around the corner of the loop and hey charlie you got any you know so yeah i remember that just uh yep. the last competition yep these guys um you're it's a really muddy sloppy day and you're running your tire pressure low like two and a half or three psi and then your uh, tire falls off your bead, you wrap these around, like around your tire. So in, in, in between the spokes and around the tire, you put whatever, eight of them on, and at least get you back to your truck. That's definitely a ripcord measurement or measure. Uh, let's see, this guy is, oh, just little mechanical parts, the common six and maybe an eight millimeter uh, nut bolt couple spare master links some other just little pieces in here these are these are uh, little plastic pieces I have um, uh, stuff that I've used on my uh, gear shifter I'll just dump them out so I've used mm -hmm. plastic plastic screws to uh, keep my gear shifter on specifically on a gas gas because they were really famous for uh, busting the tip of your shift lever off so when you bust that off it costs you 50 bucks if you're smart when your bike is when you first get your bike you uh, remove the rivet from the shift lever and then you put this plastic screw in so when you crash and your shift lever gets hit the plastic screw busts that cost you 29 cents not 50 bucks like a shift lever so this has helped uh, these plastic rivets to keep your uh, fender on um, other little plastic fasteners and then older gas gases they would actually uh, let's see sometimes the um, forgot what it was some part of it would short out I guess the uh, thermostat or something would short out and it was really handy to have a lead like this and again these things don't weigh anything really got away the the convenience of carry the, the inconvenience of carrying all this stuff and the necessity that you need it or you or someone you're with is going to need it the plastic stuff it's all featherweight this stuff's a little heavier this stuff's real heavy but again you know lots of people derail their chain so I carry the channel locks uh, and a big old wad of zip ties. Huh, this is old guys. Reader glasses, because sometimes when you're working on stuff, you can't see what you're doing. Uh, a few 
few pieces of fuel line, more zip ties, and I guess that's it. That's it. And obviously water. Well, yeah, yeah. So the front of your pack, um, yeah, I got uh, water or Gatorade or liquid IV or something. Yeah, I always, always have something in there. Yeah, for the guy who's seen everything break. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. All right, 8.6. Three? Yeah, 3.8 kilograms. And that's uh, that's after having drank all the water out of it. 8.6. Yeah. At the start of a day, it's probably 10 pounds. 10 pounds of the water, about eight and a half empty. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, if the section's hard, or or if it's just the first time I'm riding through it, I, I usually try to take my backpack off. And then if I have no trouble with the section, that's when I'll leave it on. But I usually have trouble with sections. So. <laughs>